So yeah, what we're talking about today, if you don't know, is Tigaverse or Tigaholic, Tyga, whatever you want to call Tyga or, or no Tyga by, that is who we are talking about today. As you can see, Tyga is suspended on, uh, on Twitter. It no, no longer has Twitter and also banned on YouTube. A lot of people are adding Twitter support, asking if someone can do something about uh, the wrong suspension, saying they are doing everything they can to be a good person despite all the constant harassment. Give them a freaking break. And there are a lot of people, like I said, that dislike Tyga and they are celebrating this ban. People dislike Tyga for a lot of things that you can research. I have videos on my channel that you can watch if you want to. If you type in Tyga's name on Google or on Twitter, you'll probably be able to research it yourself. But it spans over the course of the last, I think, two years about why people dislike Tyga and why people also support Tyga. But there's a lot of people supporting Tyga and wishing for Tyga to be unbanned off of YouTube and Twitter. But there are also a lot of people celebrating that Tyga was banned. People saying, hey, W in the VTuber community for getting Tyga out of here. There have also been a lot of people adding me and requesting that I talk about this. People were like, come on guys, please see this and make a video to get the word out. Tyga's VTuber career is on the line right now. And anyone else seeing this, please try and tag other big VTuber news channels as much as you can. This showed a screenshot of what Tyga said in Discord. Tyga said, my sister has made a Twitter account and will be taking over in the meantime. And this is Tora X Holic. I'm leaving for Veldon of just a few days. Once I'm back, I will try a few streams here and there, but I got to level with you all. I'm running out of ways to make this work. If something doesn't change, I will have no choice but to move on. It kills me to say that, but I am not making enough to live off of as is. And Twitter was the last place I was able to promote myself on. Twitch and Discord have next to zero discoverability on their own, and numbers have already been down for a while. I've spent thousands in preparation for the next big model debut, but at this point, I have no way to even tell anyone about it. I'm going to try my best, but at this point, I'm running out of options. So due to Taiga being banned on YouTube, clip channels of Taiga also getting banned, and and Tyga now being suspended on Twitter, Tyga has no way of promoting themselves. Sure, can continue promoting themselves in the Discord, but that's not going to grow an audience because there's no discoverability there. They're not going to get new fans from doing so. From what I've been hearing, someone named Vintage, Vintage Bass Archive uh, has been mass reporting not only Tyga, but also other VTubers for nudity. See, I saw people talking about how there was this one person going around on Twitter claiming that they, um, they are the ones reporting these people and i don't think it's one person reporting um taiga or others that are getting banned in taiga's case taiga was just banned for quote unquote nudity like it takes more than one person to report someone for that to be looked at to my knowledge it could be just one person going around you know reporting taiga and that would suck unless they have multiple accounts if they have multiple accounts and are doing it then yeah it could it could become a problem so yeah things like this led to tora uh taiga's sister tweeting out i just want to be left alone and this shows someone threatening taiga saying you have 13 hours 55 minutes left to respond taiga must react to a jocko youtube video. for example the first minutes of my video evolution of jocko's legendary groove i am a jazz expert and that's why i'm here my favorite hobby is seeing people have fun being shocked by the base of doom i know taiga is at a music festival but you must give me your word in the meantime if you don't respond tonight i will begin reporting the twitch channel my video is craft be extremely groovy and i don't think taiga looked at jocko yet but nothing matters twitch doesn't look at reports anyway and then they said okay fine taiga can just play israel 1995 gary willis bass solo promise you will ask otherwise i will finally start on reporting the twitch channel so this is someone threatening taiga or taiga's sister that they are going to be reporting taiga's twitch channel if taiga doesn't do what they say and this is just reacting to youtube videos so again i don't think this is the person that's necessarily causing all of these issues it could be multiple people or this person could deadass be the reason why taiga got banned on twitter and on youtube i don't know but the fact that Taiga is being threatened like that is kind of just weird and upsetting. Uh, no, it is the same guy that he's been doing it for a while. Uh, damn. So apparently this is the same guy that has been doing this to uh, Taiga for a while. Now, the next thing that we're going to look at is a clip from Taiga, which is pretty long. We might not watch the whole thing. We'll watch a good amount of it to get, understand the situation more and see where Taiga's coming from. But this is Taiga talking about the whole situation and how it's making Taiga feel. If anyone's wondering what happened, uh, my Twitter account got suspended, <laughs> so my YouTube got terminated. I've lost my Discord server once before, lost my TikTok that had 100k, so I'm just kind of um, running out of options here, and I'm getting a little tired. I'm not getting tired. I am... I am a little tired. I have no way to promote myself. Uh, I have been utterly deplatformed and I have like virtually nothing left. I'm blacklisted everywhere, so nobody will stand up for me. And I'm just perpetually getting mass reported. 
I could move to any number of sites and that won't stop people from fucking mass reporting me. So yeah, as I mentioned, there are like a lot of people that refuse to talk about the situation and that must feel god awful. But I don't think it's people just not wanting to talk because I dislike Taiga. I think again, when it comes to like, I guess, news VTubers or drama VTubers or whatever, they probably just haven't gotten around to it because I know for myself, I. I just haven't gotten around to it yet and here we are but the fact that there are a lot of people that are celebrating that this happened and just dead ass refusing to do anything to help taiga at youtube or whatever does suck i could go on instagram i could go on blue sky i could make another twitter account but at the end of the day i'm still getting fucking mass reported you know at the end of the day i still have no way to promote these sites now that my youtube and twitter and TikTok and everything are gone um it's gone <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> I appreciate the suggestions, and I'm sorry for getting frustrated here, but, um, like, I have no way, like, I, I, like, I don't know, what is making an Instagram going to do when no one is there to follow it? <laughs> it just, shit just keeps kind of happening. Um, like, I kind of just can't catch a break. It's over. I kind of needed my YouTube and Twitter. Like, I, I was barely, you know, making ends meet. <laughs> with the YouTube and Twitter, and now they're both gone, and no one, <laughs> no one cares what I do. <laughs> no one wants to talk about it. No one cares, man. This has been going on for about, I want to say two years, maybe even more, of people constantly just dogpiling on Taiga, mass reporting Taiga, trying to get Taiga banned, calling Taiga a PDF file, and tons of other things. So I wouldn't blame Taiga for leaving the internet, but at the same time, this is Taiga's job and letting things get to you like this would suck because people would just say, think they won. If I was them, I would consult legal mindset. People have been telling uh, Taiga to consult a legal team, like get a lawyer and sue the people going after him. And I don't know if the, like, I don't know if Taiga 100% knows the people that are going after him. Like I know there's one person that has been saying that they are doing it. So Taiga can maybe go after that person, but I'm, I'm just not not certain if it'll really solve anything. Also, yeah, I would doubt that Taiga, like Taiga says that they've been making ends meet by streaming and doing what they've been doing. So I highly doubt they would have the funds to go into, enter into a legal battle with someone. It's, that costs a lot of money. I have spent uh, an absurd amount of money getting this next VTuber model made and trying to get assets for it ready just to um just to have it be something special and no one's even gonna know about it because like i have no way to promote it i keep getting deplatformed everywhere i go even if every single person on stream followed uh, a new account i made i'd i'd end up with what 500 followers i i don't know how to make up an 81,000 deficit or a 200k deficit in the case of youtube or a 100 K deficit in the case of TikTok. I don't know how to make up that post new account. I, I could post a new account right now. And as I just said, if I posted it right now, at most I would get 500 new followers, assuming half of them aren't already followed, which I, I'm gonna go on a limb and say they are. I can make a million new accounts. It will not make up for the 400,000 followers that I keep losing, you know? Um, it, I'm, I'm done. If anybody even decides to make a post about it and then everybody will move on and nobody will talk about it and that's the unfortunate thing like with this stream i i also make a video say it does big numbers like let's say 100k 200k even if it does that there are, there's going to be people that are going to want youtube to do something youtube to respond but at the end of the day that's not enough to get youtube to respond because not all of those people are going to go at youtube not all of those people are going to go out of their way to try and get something done it'll like, like i said it will just be forgotten about and there's nothing that you can do about it it, it really does suck I, I i genuinely don't know what taiga could do in this situation i've worked um like since i started streaming you know i kind of just put everything into it invested everything into it even if i got my twitter account back and my youtube back it's all the same shit you know it's just gonna be everyone black like black, i'm still gonna be blacklisted you know so i i don't know it is what's the point i guess I made a post about my YouTube getting deleted and everybody ignored it until it started happening to them. And then suddenly it was a big deal. I'm not gonna rebrand. Everyone knows who I am. They haven't left me alone after what, like four or five years? I don't think rebranding is gonna be the solution. We need to get support Taiga trending on X. That's the point though, that's, that's my point. It's not gonna get trending. No one who can do anything about it will do anything about it. Like it's not just literally Twitter, you know? It's kind of more, it's, 
that's more the fact that I've lost 400,000 fucking followers and I have nothing to goddamn show for it. If it was just like one thing, you know, but it's, it's just like over and over again. I just keep losing like everything I've ever worked for to people who I never met and who didn't know me, who never met me and shit like that. So I don't know. I, I don't know what I did in particular to deserve this other than knock two dudes good to try to form other outlets of happiness yeah i would love to i'd love to dude this is all i've ever been good at voice actor you have a strong voice you don't think they'll just follow me there